What's up everybody, it's The Offspring, and this is Farming Simulator 2015 hauling, and to go along with this hauling video, we have this awesome F350 single cab long bed, and if you guys notice, this long bed actually looks like a long bed, because uh, it, I guess you might be able to call it an extra long bed, because uh, most long beds in Farming Simulator, uh, single cabs actually, don't really look like long beds. Uh, the long beds in the game pretty much have the same short bed that the other trucks have, along um unless it's a dually the dually g generally have a longer bed uh to make it look you know like an actual dually but this is an f350 we were going to call it a 250 we'll go ahead and call it a 350 let's say it has an extra leaf spring because that's the only really difference between the 250s and 350s if you don't get a dually and uh this truck is going to be great for hauling since it's a single cab and it's going to be it's just awesome because if you guys don't know i'm a big fan of the single cab 12 valve that Blake released that thing is a beast and I, I love using it and this thing is going to be the next installment of these single cabs and in real life I'm not too much of a fan of single cab trucks uh duty because I, I usually have a lot of people who ride with me and I like storage you know in the back I was an extended cab guy for about three years and then uh before the truck that I have now I bought a crew cab 73 2001 and after I got that crew cab it pretty much changed my whole idea on uh, trucks and stuff because I love crew cabs. And yeah, guys, apologize still still on uh, fraps. I changed to fraps from XSplit because XSplit crashed. And um, I my next video is going to be recorded with the open broadcasting software. So stay tuned for that. But we are hauling two zero turns in this enclosed uh, landscaping trailer that we released. We're going to go ahead and do some hauling. So we'll test out, you know, how this truck works and everything. It, we are going to have to add some tow mirrors and some other stuff to it. Um, but as for now, this thing is a total beast, and you guys are going to love it. I'm going to keep going straight because why not? This is just grass um, because it's going to be a little shortcut. Yeah, check this out, guys. The single cab F350 needs a little bit of badging on it, and uh, the hitches are invisible at the moment, so they got to get fixed as well. Ooh, trying to get on the interstate there. There we go. Yeah, guys, it is a beast. Top speed of 168. This is made by Mason Brown, Brown Modding, leader of my mod team, the Offspring Gaming mod team, and shout out to Zachary Logasa, the other guy in our mod team. And if you guys are talented modders and want to, you know, join our team and help us mod and help create great stuff, you know, go ahead and shoot me an email and uh, tell me what you can do and. You know, we'd be glad to have you on the team. So we're going to go ahead up here. And we're going to go ahead and take a right. Or, nope, this might be the dead end. Yep, this might be the dead end. Because I noticed it because of this weird, you know, ghostly white line that goes in the median of the interstate right here. Oh, we had some little bit of sliding right there. But interior does need work too. As you know, it's simple dab. Got the headache rack and toolbox on it. Just a beast of a truck right here. It's going to be great for hauling. You know, I, I'm prob this is probably going to be a great hot shop trucking. You know, th th this truck is going to be great for you know mobile home trucking once the uh, mobile home pack gets released and all kinds of fifth wheel trailers. It's going to be great with this truck because also I always see um, you know the, the, the there's businesses that make like sheds and you know gazebos and stuff like that and they I always see them driving like the same red truck pretty much and they, they do like you know heavy hauling with this truck hauling gigantic gazebos and stuff like that it's really really cool and I, i'm glad to have a single cab and nonetheless a ford made by us because we haven't made a ford yet and uh we are listening to your guys ideas we have a sick f650 coming out that is going to be the quality of that f250 king ranch it's going to be amazing it's just, I, I cannot wait for that mod to be coming out. Uh, we're working on it right now, along with a bunch of other stuff. We're going to be releasing the excursion also in the next couple days, so stay tuned for that. Probably uh, Monday, tomorrow, you guys are watching this on Sunday, today, uh, there should be the excursion out as well. So follow me on all my Instagram and Snapchat stuff if you guys want to see sneak peek teasers of mod picks and uh, stuff that we're working on and stuff that I'm doing. You know, feel free to add me on Snapchat, Sporkin, and all my other stuff like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as Offspring Gaming. So we're going to go ahead and turn around because I'm going to take this road to the right. 
we're going to go dump off this uh, zero turn over by the airport because we get a contract now with the airport and uh, for doing a little bit of mowing. drive up here and in two days guys I'm finally going to be able to get my steering wheel so you guys are going to have some more realistic gameplay of me actually you know using a steering wheel pedal shifter and all that and I'm so stoked for doing that because I've, I've been wanting a steering wheel for so long whoa I just noticed how weird this texture is and it's like a drop off on it too alright yeah guys here we are oh. There's our turn right there. I gotta slow down a little bit. Yeah, guys, here we are. We're at the airport now. We're gonna drop off right by this maintenance shed right here. Better yet, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the trailer here because we're gonna have to come and pick it up anyway. So we'll go ahead and head back to the farm and test this thing out, drive, and see how it handles and everything. It handles really, really good doesn't have any sliding or anything when you're hauling trailers and if you guys have any issues with these mods you know feel free to leave the comments and the, you know add me on snapchat and all that if you have any issues if you guys are having the issues of the game crashing when you buy it you know before you do anything if you have issues with our mods tell me your computer specs because if you have a low-end computer chances are you are going to have those type of issues so just you know look forward to that i, I just say you're going to have the same type of issue with a low-end computer with pretty much any mod and uh, the other problem could be is that you're having a mod conflict meaning like you have a mod that's you know conflicting for instance the load trail trailer mobile farmer and you can unlock well well uh yeah the load trail uh trailer conflicts with our tra enclosed trailer so if you guys have the load trail trailer installed you know it's going to conflict so you might need to uh, rename the trailer or your, your previous load trail. And I don't know, for some reason, in this map, here's the store. It has a store and everything, but it's like abandoned and stuff. And every time I spawn a map, uh, I mean a, a mod or anything, it, uh, it spawns it in the middle of a field instead of actually here at the store. If anybody has a fix for that, you know, feel free and tell me. But here's the interior. It needs work. You know, everything works, though, on it. Whoa. Usually them houses are no collision. <laughs> that house is like a picture of a house on that building. It's crazy. Here's the, uh, oh look at that. The, uh, the playground's looking all nice after we mowed it. The grass looks like it's growing back just a tad bit. Go ahead and head back to the farm. Put PJ on here and test out the gooseneck. I better yet, we're going to test out the, uh, I got a perfect combination for this rig. Yeah, guys, this thing has a really, really fast top speed. This thing flies, you know, once it gets over a certain speed. There's my other trailers and stuff. It, once it gets over a certain speed, it just goes. So this is pretty much the store right here. This is where all my mods end up spawning in. Where's all that? Oh, those are, those are weights. I was like, what's all that stuff on the ground? I did a little bit of harvesting earlier. So we'll go ahead and we'll spawn us in a trailer. Whoops. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, step deck. Alright, here we go, guys. We got a nice load on here. Whoa, everything's kind of jumping around. So this load's supposed to be locked. But I got two huge lizard trucks on here. One's Dodge branded. Gotta haul the Dodges, guys. That's how it's gonna be for the rest of the time. The old Ford hauling the Dodges. Cool combo right here, the car trailer. Really, really nice. Bring these up here to this little silo. Nice rig. Uh, this is a really, really nice rig. As you guys know, I'm big fans of the boards. Alright, here we go. Well then, my uh, 
the quarter software just crashed and I just loaded, unloaded all that stuff right there, so we'll go ahead and zoom back in right here. We'll do a top speed run again on this field. 167. There it is, guys. Here is the F350 short bed, long bed. You know, it, it's just a really, really nice truck. Single cab, long bed. I, I mean, I don't know. I could see a short bed, you know, being put on here because we are going to have multiple versions of this truck along with a, you know, a crew cab version, a service bed version, short bed version, dually version. Yeah, just stay tuned for all that cool stuff. So make sure you guys give me a like and a comment on this video. Those help me out so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you support the mod team and everything. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.